<clears throat> Howdy there. This is going to be a series on making engine cradles, particularly for the small block Chevy. This is one I've already built, I've been running for the past few years here. The reason, okay, for the newbies, why you want to run an engine cradle on a small block Chevy is how they normally mount. I'll go there and show you in a moment. Basically, these three bolt holes here, the bosses will break right off the block. When the motor shifts forward and back, it'll break it loose. So the cure is to build something like this that also bolts on the original. These would be the original mounts on early 55 to 57 Chevys. The motor mounts actually attach up here. GM, when they changed the blocks, never did away with them, so they're still there. Also gives you a oil pertain protection from your steering linkage. You'll Give you a quick explanation of that in a minute here. I make mine out of diamond plate, mostly because I have it, and diamond plate is pretty dang tough. This is thinner than most people will do. 3 16 uh, My theory behind using a thinner metal is uh, the extra weight. If it isn't done right, the extra weight doesn't do you any good anyways, and it just puts more stress on these small 3 8 bolts. That becomes a weakness. After this point, the bolts will break off, which happens. So, I like to make mine to use stock Chevy small block mounts because you can find them anywhere. It gives it some flexibility too. I'll go over and show you on the stock 305 over here. This one has not broken the both bosses off yet, just out of block. This motor has 30, 30 derbies on it. A lot of times these will bend the tar, but when you start welding these motors in and making them mount them too solid, the next place they break is these bosses on the block and one down there, which just break right off. Then you have another way to mount the motor. These cradles will, if you only got a few broke off, one broke off, these cradles will make an old junk block reusable for derbies at least. You can see the two mounts here. No. I don't have a steering linkage in this car. You can see the small stock small block mounts. Normally your gear gearbox is mounted here, your linkage runs right here. This has already been trimmed. It'll collide with linkage too, but when the car really starts nosing up, the center link here will bang the bottom of the oil pan. Proof on that is on my trusty 307. Because it has pretty good dent in it from hitting the center link. And then it'll start leaking oil when it pulls that seal out. <laughs> and that's if you're lucky. And also come in contact with the crankshaft. Now, I've already taken, started cutting all the pieces out. I'm doing two right now. I will do two at a time. Two front pieces. These will eventually become the side pieces that bolt to the side of the block. They're all pan protection. Right now, I've got one of the side pieces that actually mounts to the motor mount. Give you an idea what these pieces are on this other one. These pieces here, there's one step you have to do since I don't have a way of bending these. But you need to make a bend at this area. I normally take and cut the back side of it, which I'll show you in this one and re-weld it. And just make it a little bit thinner so you can bend it. So basically this is that piece, it goes up there. And you bend it at that angle. The easiest way to do it is next step on this is after I grind it was to drill in all the holes and then just guesstimate it to get it put it on the block, bolt it on, guesstimate it to get it to where you want it and then weld the seam back where I ground it so I could bend it. And this piece here, it's a little piece over there to drill 
I drilled out a half inch hole and then I bore out the mounts to use half inch bolts to make it a little more beefy. This piece here will also have to be bent. Just take the easy way out. Take your torch or whatever. You don't have to make it round like some of them do. Just take and heat it here and bend it. Bend it so it fits and just weld it in place. I weld everything on both sides that I can weld to. Make this tough as possible. And then same thing that you get the holes drilled. I will use this as the pattern. I have some patterns. I forgot to make a pattern of this one, so I'm gonna have to use this one to get the bolt holes lined up. I drill everything out past three eighths. I drill it out to seven sixteenths to give you a little bit of room. Because once these things are welded in, they don't always. You can tack them on that and take all your time to do that, but they'll still warp and bend a little bit. So sometimes getting the bolts in can be difficult, so that's why I go a little bit bigger on the hole size. And I use washers and lock washers. I know there's some other cradle builders that have told you lock washers and flat washers won't work because they're only good to 80 foot pounds. Well, if you check the uh, um, torque specs of a 3 8 grade 8 bolt, it's only good to 80 foot pounds. So you know not running washers ain't saving you anything you can't torque the torque it any more than 80 foot pounds anyways and that's on a grade 8 so I go ahead and run the washers the only problem with diamond plate is it's a good idea grind every area or a bolt and, and that has to go flat so you can get full torque force on it I'm just gonna, I build these on the blocks I got an old block at work. I might build these last two on, take them to work and bolt them up and weld them up real quick. And that's basically the start of the two I'm gonna build. I gotta build one for the Oldsmobile, but that's gonna be all brand new fabrication. So I thought I'd give you a quick start. This would be probably video one of the series. I'll let you keep you informed and see if you you guys decided to build your own. Thanks.